the stage, Sebastian Jimenez. Keep it going for him. Let him hear it. Sebastian Jimenez, everybody. God, I'm going to do this fast so I don't get kicked out as well. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> and they're like, no, we love to please. Don't do that to him. It's so awkward. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so here's a plot twist for you. I, uh, I'm Dominican. Dominican. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And tell all the white people, you know, they're kind of disappointed. They thought I was part of the team, you know? <laughs> just halfway there, guys. Just halfway there, you know? But I am Dominican, you know? And when I say Dominican, I don't mean Dominican from like a couple streets up there in the Bronx, you know? I mean like full-blown immigrant on like Donald Trump's hit list, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> like I actually have to make my way past the infant mortality rate to be here, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you know? Because there's all sorts of shit down there that could kill you, you know? You got a uh, cholera. Malaria, Haitians, all sorts of shit. <laughs> Shame on those who laughed. I was just trying to spot the racists in the crowd. Shame on you people. Shame on you people. Uh, but I came to America, uh, land of the relatively free. Home of the way too brave. Way too brave for all the brown people across the globe, man. Way too brave. And uh, you know what's weird? Coming to America as an immigrant, you know? Because people always tell you, hey, things are going to be so different. It's going to be a great culture shock when you get there. But there's not. There's not. It's all the same bullshit. It's all the same bullshit like you people. You clearly like drinking. We like drinking. People like baseball. We literally need David Ortiz to keep our economy afloat. <laughs> people want to kick out the Mexicans. We want to kick out the Haitians. It's all the same bullshit. It's all the same bullshit. Just that we got sticks and stones. And you people, you got Hiroshima and Nagasaki. That's the only difference. That you could wipe us out with weapons we can't even spell out. Because we're illiterate. You know, I think that we're the same horny monkeys trying to rub our genitals with each other, you know, that's all, that's the only difference. But it is weird coming to America, man. For me and my personal experience, it was a lot like growing up Catholic. You know, any Catholics in the audience? Let's hear it for the Catholics, people. Let's hear it for the Catholics. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, it's good. Growing up Catholic, it's weird, you know, because uh, when you're a kid and you're Catholic, you don't know what the hell is going on. You're just some confused idiot going to church every Sunday getting all excited for the part they give you a cookie, you know? <laughs> and you think it's so great because they tell you, hey, listen, kid, you're not a massive asshole and you don't murder anyone. You get to go to heaven. Jesus Christ is going to be there doing magic tricks for the rest of eternity. It's going to be great, you know? And I don't know about you all, but when I was a kid, I never had the urge to murder anyone flat out. I don't know how things are here in America, what age your kids get their guns or whatever. But we don't do that in the Dominican Republic. We don't murder people when we're children. Mostly because we don't have the money to buy the guns. <laughs> so we just have to settle in for slapping each other with machetes, but... Point is, when you're a kid and you're a cat, like, you think everything's great. Everything's awesome. Because you're going to get to go to heaven. Then you begin to grow up, you know? You begin to spot things, notice inconsistencies. You know, like Abraham. Abraham. Everybody knows Abraham? Probably should have been hospitalized for schizophrenia. You know? Poor old man with voices in his says, Kill the son, kill the son. <laughs> what is he about to do? Don't do it! What are you doing, you ass? And he's like, oh my god. <laughs> and God, a little bit of an asshole. A little bit of an asshole, you know? God just making gay people just so that he can send them to hell. What the fuck is that? <laughs> you know, murdering entire ethnicities of people because they pronounced this name wrong, you know? Yahweh, as if that was a walk in the park. What the fuck? <laughs> And that's exactly what it was like for me to come to America. Because I don't know why, but for some reason, when I was growing up, there was this idea, this idea that everything America was great. Everything America. Like, I thought that Applebee's was the finest culinary experience <laughs> you could indulge in this planet. Like, going to a mall was the most fantastical adventure you could only dream of being a part of, you know? That mall walkers were some sort of Bilbo Baggins-like character on a quest for something great. <laughs> I thought that Flavor Flav was like the modern Buddha, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you know what's funny about that? That the first place I ever visited here in America wasn't New York or LA, one of these cosmopolitan capitals of the world, no! It was Wichita County, West Virginia, you know? <laughs> that little nine-year-old me walking the swamps in Wichita County, West Virginia, thinking that these people were awesome, you know? And I would look at these swamp people, you know, with the greased up skin and the fungus in between the toes, and I would look at them playing with their pet salamander or whatever swamp activity they were doing, and in my mind, they were like, oh my God, these people are so wise. They have this inner American wisdom that I have to understand. When we found those people having sex out in the open in the Walmart parking lot, I thought they were in a whole other dimension of love that I couldn't begin to grasp. I thought you people were awesome, and I think that's my time. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, so much.